All right, so I really wanted to highlight just very briefly how you can find a whole bunch of really awesome medical interpreting glossaries or just glossaries in general that can be monolingual term reference, multilingual term reference, Spanish, English glossaries, what have you. It can be in a whole bunch of different languages as well. So one of my favorite places to go are Facebook groups, surprisingly. Now, of course, the information we find on the internet isn't always going to be 100% correct. However, it's a good starting point. I always tell my students that you always want to cross-reference your sources. But regardless, if you're looking for glossaries, this is a good way to do it. So I'm on my website here just because some people are like, okay, well, what are these Facebook groups? I could list them off, but I actually already have them listed off on my website. So if you go to kghinterpretation.com, that's K, G as in girl, H, interpretation.com. Go up to the top where it says resources, and then go down to professional communities. Click on professional communities. And then here you're gonna see some groups that I'm a member of on Facebook. For the purpose of this one, I'm gonna actually go to one of my favorite groups, which is Medical Translation and Interpreting Crew. And this is run by a really awesome interpreter who has a medical background. So this is my go-to group for Spanish English questions and a lot of really, really great fact-based healthcare information. So if you go to Medical uh, Translation Interpretation Crew, it is a private group, so you must submit a membership request. Definitely recommend reading up on the group rules before you join, because a lot of folks do like to just start posting and not really keep the rules in mind. So one of the things you can do on, now that we're on desktop here, and of course I have the, the dark theme enabled, and then you go to, I like going to Files. And when you go to Files, boom. Here we go, a whole bunch of PDFs of glossaries. And we also have documents that have been created that are kind of like uh, directories of a whole bunch of other resources. You can even go, you can search files. So if you're looking for a particular file, like let's say you saw one in the past, you can't really find it. You can also go to the discussion on the group and you can click on search and you can search for whatever topic you can imagine. So one thing that I really like to do is if I have a terminology question and I'm seeing it translated a lot of different ways, I might go to search and search the term. So a very common thing that people ask about, for instance, is physician assistant. It's physician assistant, not physician's assistant. There's a very particular translation that's agreed upon uh, for this term. However, if you want to see the conversation surrounding why people are translating a term a particular way, you can go to the search feature and search for it that way. I don't want to show you because, of course, this is a private group. I would be violating the group's kind of privacy settings if I were to go in and show you different posts. But that's just a really quick and easy way to find some glossaries.